Well, I think we very much have to look at just how adequate our flood defences are, but also uh, climate change adaptation. Well, they're inadequate at the moment. Well, they are inadequate at the moment, and that's quite clear. Sadly, back in 2010, a number of proposals for defences were uh, choked off by this government, and they were proposals following the pit review. What I think is right, and Ed Miliband has stated this in the last week, we, we need to have an independent review of flood protection in this country. And I think we need to do this well, on that's a cross-party... another independent review. Well, actually, we need to have a cross-party consensus on this, not only on what flood protection we need, but I actually hope, you know, in light of all this, we can get back to where we were in 2008, where only five MPs voted against the Climate Change Act. I think the support for that has frayed in recent times, Certainly partly yeah. because actually we've got a lot of Tories on the back benches who don't like renewable energy, don't believe in climate change, but also I have to say David Cameron playing to UKIP as well. So let's get back to where we were because it puts us in a strong position, not only for combating climate change, but also hopefully getting the jobs and opportunities that arise from doing things differently. So when people complain about the energy prices shooting up, partly because of Labour's deal on, climate, on carbon emissions in the last government, you've got no embarrassment about that. That's the kind of thing you had to do. Energy prices have to take the hit. Part of where we need to get to is making sure in the future we can have cheaper costs. And actually, uh, John Gummer, who chairs the Committee on Climate Change, a former Conservative Environment Minister, has made it very clear that actually the costs of not moving to cleaner energy are going to far outweigh the costs we're paying in the future. But the costs have to be fair, and that's why we have to fix the market and make sure it's more competitive, more transparent, and certainly more accountable. Okay, dead simple question to finish with. Are you pledging more money for this, yes or no? For flood defences, yes. what we're saying is, is that we will look at it as part of our zero-based review and make sure it's prioritised within that, but I'm not going zero to... Zero-based, yes, zero-based. Andrew, I'm not going to come out on the programme with how much that should be. What I think I'm is not, important... I'm just, I'm just saying yes or no. What I'm thinking is, is that we've got to make sure it's prioritised and the right amount of resources go there. And the government have already done a U-turn on the sacking of 500 staff at the Environment Agency. They've already said, actually, they're already paying, I think, over a billion pounds more. And it's false economics to have a situation where we don't do the right thing in front and then pay more after.